So things are really ramping up now. In this episode, I want to take you behind the scenes of the new prototype production line in Austria and a first look inside the factory where your Grenadier will be built. After more than a year testing early development vehicles, they call the two A's, the Grenadier project has reached a major milestone. Ineos Automotive's engineering partner in Austria is now building a fleet of much more advanced next generation prototypes. You guessed it, the two B's. Hans-Peter Pessler is the engineer in charge. We have around about 250 engineers working on this project. So everybody is pushing forward very hard because it's a big challenge. You've got loads of experience in the automotive industry, building cars for all kinds of big companies. What have been the real challenges that Grenadier has thrown at you? The first challenge was to understand what Ineos wants to have. So to get their ideas into the paper, into the, into the sketches, into the computer, and then finally into this car. We are very happy that we have these two A vehicles right now, and the next big phase is the 2B. And how many? Uh, around about, let's say, 80 plus. Welcome to the Grenadier's first small-scale production line. It's been created not just to build the limited run of new prototypes, but also to test and perfect every stage of the process, from start to finish. Experience gained here is helping the team plan the path to mass production. Each Grenadier is built from around 350 individual panels. A complex 3D jigsaw held together by glue and weld. The doors and closures are aluminium. The rest of the body is galvanised steel. The shells are protected with four coats of paint applied in a seven-stage process. Most will be white, black or silver. A few will have contrasting roofs. All the chassis are powder-coated white to help detect cracks during testing. Axles and powertrains are supplied pre-assembled. The majority left-hand drive. It takes just over a month to build each prototype from scratch, but there are eight vehicles in build at any one time. When they leave here, these 2B prototypes will be put through extensive safety and performance testing. Some are destined for high-tech automotive science laboratories. Others will be shipped around the world to see if nature can break them. Lessons will be learned, of course, and the Grenadier will continue to evolve over the coming months. Yes, it definitely looks the part. Now the engineers must prove it can get the job done. Now, as you may know, Ineos Automotive has bought a manufacturing site in Hamback, and it will be the home of the Grenadier. So I thought you might like to take a closer look. It's a massive facility, one of the most advanced vehicle assembly plants anywhere in the world. Thanks to the 500 million euros invested in it by Mercedes-Benz. Packed with state-of-the-art technology, it comes with a highly skilled team all trained to Mercedes exacting standards. The fully fitted factory just needs repurposing and reprogramming to build Grenadiers. And this is the man getting the job done. Obviously, Eric, there's been a lot of discussion about where Grenadier's factory will be. Why did you end up in Hamburg? We looked at uh, several sites throughout Europe. And then this was an, a, a unique opportunity where Mercedes had a change of strategy that coincided with us looking for a plant. And, and uh, the blessing here was that Mercedes has actually designed this plant for full-size SUVs. 
So very much a commercial opportunity then that you simply couldn't turn down. It, it, it's not only commercial, I would say, it's, it's a whole package. It's production cost, but it's also, also quality and, and capacity. So what have you actually got to do to get the facility ready for Grenadier? You can say that you have maybe three categories of work that needs to be done there. We have some cells where we just need to change some fixtures, need to reprogram the robots and so on. And we have some cells that needs to be rearranged. These are modular cells, so maybe some robot needs to be moved from one place to another. And then you have the third category where we actually tear the whole cell down and then what we do is we rebuild it. And all of that is done in the, in the body shop here behind me. In terms of quality control, what are you doing to make sure that Grenadier is fit for purpose and is going to be built to the reliability and quality standards that we as customers will expect? We have a very advanced, well-equipped quality uh, department here with very experienced former Mercedes quality people. And the focus is really based on the workstation to make sure that before a vehicle go from one zone to the next zone, that the people that are actually working in that zone ensures that the quality is correct. They don't pass on bad quality to the next station. We have four levels of quality at the station itself, at the end of that particular line before shipping out. And then we also have the audit process. So from where you're sitting right now, what are the big challenges coming up? So the next step is you build the two Bs, which are not kind of production intent material. Just to make sure that the vehicle goes together, you learn how to build the vehicle from that. Then what we do is we go into the next phase, and that's when we start to build prototypes using the actual production process. And then what you do is you ramp up the production then uh, up until the speed that you want to, that you want to run it. Listen, Eric, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, appreciate it. So the most advanced Grenadiers yet are now rolling off the prototype assembly line. And having taken over the existing high-tech factory in Hamback, INEOS engineers can now focus on refining the build process for mass production. So some very big developments. See you next time. <laughs>